All right, fellas, we uh, we made it to our unloading spot, and um, grateful for the logging company to grade the road going back here. So that's pretty nice. So let's go ahead and get this uh, snow machine unloaded. Let's go beaver trapping. All right, guys, I'm a rookie at this. So, just through the ice stuff, you know, I did a little bit when I was younger and I did some this year, but uh, honestly, I'm, I'm a rookie at it. So, this is what I'm bringing. Um, I got loppers. Need my ax back here too. Or if you're from here, it's Aspen or Quaker Aspen or whatever. So I got, uh, where's my saw? Uh, that cool tool. Spud, auger, loppers, big shovel. The snow's deep up there. Got some 330s. I'm going to do some uh, hanging bait sets with the 330s. Um, Alan Prost posted a video on that not long ago with Johnny Thorpe doing that something I learned um, and of course a bunch of snares and goodies so let's get to it uh, I started wearing these it started hurting my ears so getting headaches after about 40 miles I started getting headaches so I started putting them on and that's nice so all right let's uh let's go that way I took a stop right here gotta take a leak and look at here there. are there wolves in here yeah I would say there's wolves in here in fact, there's this track right there. Welp, we uh, we made it to the first colony. Right there. So, let's do some digging. I'm gonna do a test hole. I don't know anything about these colonies in this lake, so. Go ahead and get a test hole in here and see what we got going on. Flush. A lot of ice. That might be hitting bottom there. All right. That one ain't no good. All right. That hole's no good. This one's a little better. This one's no good. I'm not seeing a food cache, so I can't just go ahead and go in between the food cache. I'm trying to stay, find a run is what I'm trying to do and put my, my bait is set in the run. So there's like three layers of ice in here. Pretty crappy ice. So I'm looking at the hut. I'm not finding no feed beds or nothing. I'm looking at the hut. And um, of course it looks big, but it's not. And uh, dug down into it. There's no frost hole or nothing. So that's telling me, I don't think there's beeves. 
All right, guys, second dead hut. <sighs> Not even no mud on it underneath there. And uh, the chimney's wide open. I got two more, two more huts to look at. <clears throat> Bottom right here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. No chimney and no mud. Goes right down in that hut. So this sucker's empty. So much snow on it, I uh, almost drove right by it. But, uh, we're breaking some trail in here, that's for sure. It's pretty deep, but uh, some wolf tracks on the lake over there, and I'm sure they're gonna start using my snow machine trail. I got a little experience with trapping bog beaver. This is all bog out in here, floating island. And uh, what happens is they, the entrances are, entrances to the huts ain't that close. They could be anywhere out there. And I'm finding no food cache as well. You can see, but a little peeled stick down there. That's a good sign. All right, let's cut two more holes in and then go get some poles. That went over about six feet. And I hit bog. So I'm gonna do one more over there. Maybe there's another run, I believe I'm in a run right here because it's absolutely deep so that's pretty good if this is the only deep spot i'll probably go out that way so all right one more hole to the left well, i got me a dead lodge pole pretty long to see how deep this is. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. That's that's deep. Okay, let's not go through the ice right here. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 10 foot deep right here. And I got a smudge. So we got about two foot of ice. Right in here, we're gonna go ahead and put her together. Let's go get it going here. Okay, here's my my snare supports right here. Oh, need to take better care of my players. There we go, snare supports. And I'm gonna do another snare support right here. Oh. 
There we go. Okay. These are 564s cable. You what's use what you want. I don't care. Um, on a washer lock. say I'm a rook at this so bear with me you guys are probably go like, oh, that dumbass but I don't care this is I like learning like this I watched a few YouTubes but anyways I'll get that fixed there that needs to be twisted all right we'll cut this pole off up in here don't need it so tall I mean look how deep that sucker is hold all right, you guys, I decided to go with a, a hanging pole. So we're going to try that. Um, just not going all the way down to the bottom. Um, these two holes are pretty close together, but I get out there and, and then I'm on bog again. So that's best I could do. So so anyways, I'm pretty happy with the spot. I might do a hanging conibear in there um, is what I might do with that one. some shit under there. Okay. We'll hit the gauntlets on maybe. Might have to open the hole up bigger or clean the hole out some more. All right, I'm just gonna have to make my hole bigger is what I'm gonna do. Yep, so might as well get to it. Okay. raven up there okay we got one in <laughs> finally um this dried lodge pole is wanting to go ahead and and float up that way so i had to run that in to keep it from doing that so i got a hanging snare set right there um that was a big pain in the ass so um we're gonna do a hanging counter bear right there make life a little bit easier and then go find this other colony yikes all right Ain't caught one on like this yet, but I really want to. So last year I went and put chain on my 330s. Holy crap. I I like it at the set, but it makes a damn mess and it hooks on everything. I don't think I like this chain. I think I'm gonna go back to cable. Um, big pain in the ass. All right. So, I'm going to put this in between here like that and shave it up a little bit. I've seen this set. Johnny Thorpe did it. Um, Pros put it on his video. I want to catch one on it. It's 
So shout out to Alan for showing an old trapper, me, a new trick. So, all right. So there he is. We're gonna put a log across it. The beaver will go ahead and grab that stick and then go forward into the conibear. So um, let's get it put together. All right, my work area kind of sucks here. Whoa, don't get caught. All right, safeties are on. We want to hang this right below the ice. What I heard. So, I don't know if y'all can see that. We're going to go ahead and right here. Way out in the middle of nowhere, and I can hear a jet going by. I wonder where they're headed. Yeah, Portland. Oh, what a wonderful town Portland is. <laughs> All right, so this is a lot easier than. Look at that. It didn't take me much to go ahead and get that made up. Oh. That's gonna go in that hole there. We're gonna drop that down that hole. So we got two beaver sets out in front of this one right here. All right. Get you right here where the action is. That is below the ice. All right, cool. So, we're not gonna get that cold. I'm not gonna put nothing on top of here. I'm, I think I'm gonna put some snow on top of there, just snow. Um, I don't want the beaver to get snared and then come up. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I told my son, that uh, we'll be home before dark. If not, load the snowmobile up, follow my tracks. There. That'll be good. Some guys, I guess, put pine bows and all that. If, if we were gonna freeze down below zero and all that crap, I'd go ahead and do that. So, all right, I got two sets in. Holy crap, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but anyways. A lot of fun though you know what's cool is when you come up to them and you chop clear that ice off and you see air bubbles and then you you pull up that big beaver so uh, yeah and right now they're at their best so uh another we got a month before spring break up here um heck there's a couple feet of ice on here um but anyways uh, so yeah the the fur is at the best right now so um, I'm pretty stoked about it. I'm not, yeah. Anyways, all right, let me get this cleaned up. Yeah, one more thing, guys, on these. I'm putting my tag up above. That way, uh, if a game warden does come all the way out here, um, trust me, I'm used to that. Um, yeah, that way they don't have to pull it up. So they know where I'm at, who I am. Just a little tip I learned on the YouTube. All right, lodge number four. Snow is real deep here, so um, we're gonna do some digging, digging out in there. 
and uh, do some test holes. So I'm using my uh, head for more than just to, to hold my hearing protection, my goggles and a hat rack. And uh, yeah, I got about like three feet of snow here, so I just stuck it down in the snow and I got, I don't have to kneel down. So nice, I can get everything the way I want it. All right. I got two holes in this one. Um, I might, this one on this side here, this hole here is a little bit shallow. I might do another one over here and then do the hanging counter bear there and do the snare right there. So, whew, I'm getting tired, buddies. I'm getting tired. There's the setup right there. We'll drop that in and then get her tied off up on the top up here. Not the prettiest thing, but uh, yeah. We'll just give it a try, hey? All right, guys. I got four in. And uh, I ain't used my GoPro in a long time, so I'm going to see if we can see anything. I doubt it. It's pretty dark under there. But uh, here's my snare set here. And... Got a couple otter sets in. That should, uh, if they come through, that should be a dead otter there. Seven, seven sets up, but here's a here's a nice otter set. I made a little trail for them to come over and and uh, right there. Triggers are under the water. If it does ice up, it'll just go right over the top, so uh, triggers won't build up with ice. Um, so uh, yeah, I always put my triggers in the bottom. That's the way I like them. I know some guys do others, but uh, um, I think about it this way, that trigger hanging down in the face of the animal, um, hell, I wouldn't want to go ahead and spec my, my face on it, you know? So um, I always put, try to get my triggers under the water or uh, in a little bit warmer conditions, a little bit above the water, a couple, about an inch or so, but uh, good set here. Um, yeah, otters come through, it's dead, it's done. Well, the grater didn't do me any, any good. <laughs> Got stuck in a rut and, uh, yeah, that shit happens. It's, uh, it's dangerous. It'll throw you all over the damn place. All right, uh, I gotta dig it out. Looks like, it's looking like an otter, no, it's looking like a beaver maybe. But I got something caught right down here. Got some silt on it, so. Yeah, it's a beater. I was hoping it was an otter. Oh yeah, it's a beaver. There it is, in that run. Nice. You can't beat these stabilizers. I love them. Oh yeah, look. There. <laughs> nice beef. Really nice beef. Heck yeah. Long right in. And uh, it's always nice to see something caught. So we'll go ahead and check... Uh, traps on the on the lake now and uh we'll get this guy cleaned up so uh now i get to have the fun of trying to get up here
Yes. It's always nice to get something caught when you drive and work this hard to, to get something caught, you know? Actually, I wasn't really optimistic, but my friend that's shooting the film right now said uh, they brought good luck. So look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's getting here. Right on. Sweet. Thank you. This is the one where it's really, really deep. Um, and I threw some snow on it. So um, they've been out now for, I think, five days. So. the snare pole, the hanging snare pole. And I'm just gonna pull these today just because um, we got some warm weather coming up and this lake is really, it's really soft, really kind of dangerous ice. So by the time I get back out here, it might be really, really shitty ice. that under so the thing didn't flow up float up all right this thing's floating right up oh wait what nope nothing all right let's check the collar bear this bog what happens with this bogs trapping is it's a floating island basically it's floating and they'll store their food cache under the bog and so they don't even come out into this open stuff. So, sure it would be nice to get one though. Goose egg. So, yeah, I, we're just not on them, you know. Five days under the ice, we should have, I should have connected on something, but just not on them. So, I'm blessed to catch that one beaver. The lake was, uh, lake was a bit sketchy. Um, yeah, we're. Uh, we were cutting a bunch of slush, that's for damn sure. So I uh, lightened up my load and uh, I'm really glad I pulled them traps. We're, we're 20 miles from the highway, approximately, and so it would have sucked, you know. The last thing you wanna do, last thing you wanna do is go ahead and put a snowmobile in the drink, so especially way out here. That'll, that would eat up all my profit. <laughs> if there is any profit. So, one beef. Thought it was an otter at first, but. Oh, left my trap setters in the truck. So, I'm gonna have to just improvise here. There we go. Out of the trap. Ah, oh, there, nice. Feels good to get the skin something, but <laughs> it's tough dropping up here, you know. We'll get this thing cleaned off. Pretty clean, anyways. Yeah, look at that color. That's nice. That'll make a nice pair of mittens. Yeah, that sure will. Well, that's a good beaver. Let me show you how it covers. 
Okay, now, see how the guard hairs cover that under fur? That's beautiful. I'm not seeing a rub on the back of the neck, which is nice, but it's not rubbed up. So this is a really, really nice wintered beaver. Um, yeah, that's pretty dang exciting. And then what I'm excited about too, is that look at that silvery belly. Yeah, that's nice. Got a pair of mittens here and a pair of mittens on the back. So yeah, I like that belly. All right, let's head back to the truck. You guys, hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I know I ain't been on for a while and you guys will understand soon why I have not been making any videos. So when it's time, I will go ahead and I'll do a video on why I have not made videos. So I'm gonna do a few videos here and there and, uh, and that's it. So, but uh, the time is soon. So thanks a lot. Thanks for sticking with me, you guys. When it kind of went off, um, I figured I'd lose a whole bunch of followers and subscribers. I think I only lost like a hundred or so. So you guys, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. It's going to be well worth it. So, all right. Go if you guys remember this one here, this is the one where I put the conibear triggers on the bottom. Um, and if I would have put them on the top, it would have been hanging down. This ice would have been hanging on those triggers. So, um, because what happens when the water comes through, it creates um, moisture in the air. And then when it gets down single digits and all of that, it'll cling to just about anything. So that's why you put the triggers on the bottom. And I'll go ahead and snap that and show you how it'll fire with this ice. So this is what the ice on it, it'll, it will fire, watch. Oh, come on. That otter would have been caught. So just gonna knock that ice off. So yeah, I put triggers in the bottom. That way they won't build up with ice. I got Rick here on my trap line today. And um, I wanted to pick up another beaver. And so we set up this hut yesterday and um, just set the entrance up. And we got one in the clear water. Look at that, super nice. So we'll get the GoPro on that. This had two entrances, got bullet too. Bullet just uh, went for a swim. Uh, he jumped on the ice and he went through and he's about to do it again. Hey, bullet, no. I'll go ahead and upload the video of that. Knucklehead. Uh, it's certainly feeling like spring today, so um, we're going to start having some melt off here, which is which is good to see. So uh, maybe we'll get some spring beaver soon. So let's go ahead and get this beaver pulled out and take a look at it. Make you excited? We got some beaver feet for you. Look it. That's a nice beaver. Oh, <sighs> look at that, you guys. Bullet. This is where they come from. Look at that bullet. Everybody's happy. We got some beavers. Right on. I'm doing my beavers differently. 
now. Um, I'm going, I am case skinning them and they fit really nice on a big wolf board. I cut my wolf boards down so I got three wolf boards made up for um, my beavers. So it was kind of a new thing I had to learn if you skin beaver for, for so many years and then you switch over to doing uh, doing it case, you gotta kinda relearn it a little bit. But um, the reason why I'm doing it this way um, is because all my fur is gonna be made into garments. I want the belly fur, the belly fur on beaver is absolutely beautiful. And um, so I want to utilize that belly fur. Um, So it's super easy than, than um, tacking it out the old fashioned way. Um, and yeah, I'm really liking doing it. It's like a big ass muskrat. And then of course, wedge sticks, do one here. Ah. And then do one down here, just like that. Two wedge sticks. Don't even have to pin them shut. Uh, it's gonna go straight to the tannery. So that's kind of how I do it. And um, we'll dry this one in the house tonight. Take a few days to dry it, but maybe one more pin right there. There, easy. Thanks for watching.